So why did I move to New Hampshire for the Free State Project? Well, here's my story. So hey everyone, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you might know, but I feel like I might as well reintroduce myself anyway. I'm Joel Valenzuela. I'm a journalist and content creator focusing on decentralized tech, especially cryptocurrency. And in 2013, I moved to New Hampshire as part of the Free State Project. And since it's my seven year anniversary here, I thought I might as well put out my story. So as long as I can remember, I've always been an advocate for freedom. I've always liked liberty. I've always thought that people could make their own choices better than anyone else. I always thought it wasn't good for someone else to just say, you can't do that and I'm gonna go twist your arm if you don't do that. I never liked any of that stuff. And also, as a person who is very practically minded, I became a little bit impatient when being in the whole think tank world of the libertarian world. Part of that is because I'm just not that smart. I'm not that patient, whatever, <laughs> whatever else you could say. I just having my nose down in a book and thinking about these avenues for advancing public policy and scholarly discussions, all that stuff just started to wear on me after a while. Um, a lot of it is just, I trust things that are real and talking theory is great, and after a while I wanna see something in practice. And so it was somewhere in 2012, I was living in Phoenix, Arizona, and I thought I wanted to get back in the mix of things. I used to work in DC and all those think tanks and things like that, and I wanted to get back somewhere on the front lines of liberty, wherever those might be. I decided I'd go for it. Of course, I didn't know where that might be, so I was just out there looking for a job. So I went on this big compendium of all kinds of free market think tanks around the world, and just one by one was seeing if they were hiring, see if I could look for a job. And then I found this place in New Hampshire, this nonprofit called the Free State Project, and I thought, wow, this sounds really cool. These people are trying to advance liberty in one small place, and they're doing that by trying to get people to actually move there and educate them about liberty, all this. Is this great? Do they have a job opening? No? Okay, never mind. But I follow that page. I think it was the Facebook page. I can't remember for sure. And I kept seeing a lot of cool stuff happening there. I, I kept seeing reports of people living free, making a difference, all kinds of stuff. And then eventually it was when a certain state representative from the town of Keene made this statement calling the free staters as the single greatest threat to the state and wanted to pass laws to restrict their freedom so they would just go away and you know leave all the freedom haters alone. That's a pretty punctuated statement. And so as soon as I saw that, it clicked in my mind, something big is happening here, something real, and I, I gotta get there as soon as I can. So that was at the end of 2012, somewhere in December, I think. The Free State Project typical pledge is you say, once 20,000 people have signed up to go, I promise that I'm going to move within five years of that time. But I did my own custom pledge. I just said, the last day of 2012, I signed my own version of the pledge, which just said, I'll be there within a year. And nine months later, or September, is when I went out there. So I did not have any job prospects there. I didn't know anyone. I didn't really know what I was gonna do. I found some place that said they would rent me a room. So I just packed up everything I owned in the back of my little two-door Honda Civic and just drove, you know, the, what was it, the 50-hour drive from Phoenix, stopped a few places along the way, and just finally got there. And within a couple days, I found a job and I found a few other jobs. And eventually I ended up where I'm at now doing what I'm doing right now. So I've lived all over the world. I grew up in the very beginning in Southern California and then I lived in Mexico for a while. And then I lived in France, I lived in the UK. I was in the Washington DC area. I was in Utah. I was in, of course, Phoenix for a long time. And here in New Hampshire has definitely been the best place I've ever been. Just there's something you can't quite explain if you don't, but first of all, it's definitely the freest place I've ever been. There's an extremely small government presence. People could basically do what they want, but most importantly, a whole bunch of fellow movers, as well as a whole lot of people who were just born and raised around here, have this intrinsic freedom mentality where you don't really have to explain core concepts of freedom to people. You don't have to you know, convince people that we should just leave each other alone or you know, all help each other instead of voting things in power. They're just something that a lot of people who are really into the concepts and principles of freedom, it's really alienating to them when they just don't have a lot of people who care or understand even. And here, the community is a massive thing. And of course, it also helps that 
you can um, live entirely off of cryptocurrency with no bank like I do. It helps that you can find a, a network of local farmers markets and people like that and small vendors that all work in this liberty slash agorist uh, world where they just trade between each other and don't worry so much about paperwork and other things like that. And there's definitely an angle if you want to get involved into actual politics. It's not like it's going to be a lucrative career, but you can actually get involved and make a real difference as like a part-timer or just having a day job and being in the legislature on your side. It's very easy to actually get in there and affect real change. And I think this is probably the most beautiful spot on earth or one of them. I mean, it's got four seasons, great fall, great, you know, snowy winter, you know, nice spring, nice summer, mountains, forests, there's the ocean, and it's got a, a bunch of cute, quaint little towns, very high quality of life, very low poverty, very low crime. Everything tends to work out really well. And there's also something about here. It's people who've lived here their whole life and people who moved here a while ago. You start to not like to leave the state. If you have to go on vacation somewhere else, or you have to go on a work trip, within like a day or two, you start getting bored of wherever you're at and just say, I want to, I want to be back. I still remember one time I went on a work trip out to uh, Columbus, Ohio in this big bus. We all drove out. And when we came back in the state, as soon as we crossed the state line in New Hampshire, everyone just started applauding. Like, woo, we're back home. And I never felt anything like that when I lived in Arizona or any other place that I was. It just didn't have that same you know, feeling of, yeah, this is the best spot on earth. So this is just my story. I'm not trying to do a sales pitch or anything, but why don't you come check out New Hampshire? Why don't you just come visit, see some of the friendly folks, see what it has to offer. And, you know, you might not like it. You might stay where you're at, but you might actually find your little slice of heaven on earth. So why not give it a shot?